Hey everyone, let's go through Act 1, see if we can extrapolate some interesting themes and ideas that come out so then you can tackle them with your group presentation. So Nora is wrestling with this idea of uh, fear, guilt and wrongdoing in the light of everything. We see it come out through Christine and then through Krogstad. That's when the fear sort of comes in. And she actually takes a lot of pride in it because it remains one of the very few independent things that she's ever done. Nora's really proud that she was able to influence her husband and that's why she's sitting there boasting to Krogstad about the influence that she exerts. And that really reveals her desire to feel useful and important, that she was able to support those around her and save someone's life. Um, but although she has been able to exert that sort of um, influence over Torvald, he didn't know that, and in essence her power is extremely limited as a woman. Because paradoxically, when Krogstad asked Nora to exert this influence on Torvald, on his behalf, Nora perceives his request to be an insult. So when someone ask, else asks for Nora to use her influence, she thinks that they're insulting her husband, but when she does it, it's okay. Why? Well, Krogstag's statement implies that Torvald fails to conform to societal belief, that the husband should be responsible for all the financial and business matters, and uh, by Nora swaying him, you know, it's an insult to Torvald for not being a proper husband, a proper man who deals with that sort of stuff, and instead the wife needs to interfere. Now, if we look at Krogstad, he wants to be reputable again. We see that throughout it. We see that he makes that known to Nora. But the blackmail shows that he's actually only interested in reforming his appearance, that sort of societal appearance that he is a good man and not his inner self. Torvald's preoccupied with appearances, something Nora understands and uses to her advantage. How does she do that? Hmm, interesting answer. She knows she can put her husband in a good mood by mentioning the costume that she would don at the dance. The thought of Nora dressed up and looking beautiful placards Torvald, who takes great pleasure in the beauty of his house and his wife. It makes him feel complete. He's ticked all the boxes of society. Uh, Torvald's remark about Krogstad, I honestly feel sick, sick to my stomach in the presence of such people. Deep contempt for moral corruption of Krogstad's sort, but... Krogstad and Nora have actually committed the same crime, forgery. So, spend some time thinking about those, come up with some discussion, and we'll move on to Act 2 soon.